Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 18 that is unit testing framework in csharp.net. In this lecture you will learn how to add the assertions in tests, how to ignore the test using ignore attribute, how to group the test using uh, group using category attribute, then how to insert the before after hooks at method and class level, then how to build the project using ms build and ms test, run the test using ms test in this particular lecture. So to do add the assertions you need to use this assert class which is in this particular namespace Microsoft Visual Studios test tools dot unit testing and uh, we have got this r equal method to do the assertions r equal r not equal r same r not same so there are various methods available there fail is false is true is not null is null etc so you can use any of these methods to do the assertions this r equal method will check if this first parameter is equal to the same uh, the second parameter and if it equals assertion will pass otherwise exception will be thrown so that is how you can do the assertions in your tests now next is ignoring the test now here in this particular class we have got another test method and we have put this ignore attribute what it means is that when we execute this particular test that will be skipped so i am going to run that test method too and it will say the test skip as you can see the test has skipped so because of that ignore attribute the test is uh, getting skipped then next is uh, how to group the tests using category to uh, like group the tests based upon category you have to use this particular attribute test category and then you have to put the name of the category in, in here you can give any name to the category and to run the test from that category from the test explorer what you will have to do is uh, group this tests by traits and as you can see it has categorized these tests based upon that name of the category so that's how you can execute those tests now next thing is how to add before and after hooks earlier we have seen that uh, we, we started the browser uh, this uh, chrome browser right in this particular code but in this particular method what we have done is we have put that particular thing in the before hook that is test initialize method so what happens is that whenever the any test method gets executed this particular code will be automatically get invoked because it is uh, having this attribute test initialize so this particular code will get invoked before each test method in this particular test class and in here we are trying to launch the browser now at the end of test we have to close the browser as well so we have got test cleanup attribute which marks the code to be run after every test method over here we have closed the browser so this particular methods get invoked before and after every test method in the test class but sometimes what we need is that we need to invoke the code before all the test methods in that class and for that you can use this class initialize and class cleanup attributes class initialize will get invoked before the any of the test methods is invoked or is called and this class cleanup will be executed after all the test methods have been executed in that test class so that is how you can add the before and after hooks in selenium then how to build ms uh, build project using ms period and ms test so before we look at that i want to execute this test or here what is going to happen is that this test initialize method will get invoked before this test method one and test cleanup method will get invoked after that test finishes all right so the test is finished and as you can see the browser is closed because we have added this test clean cleanup method over there now let us uh, see how to build the project uh, using ms build tool and how to execute tests using ms test tool so ms build and ms test these tools are available in this particular directory this ms build is available in this directory ms test is available in this directory wherever you have installed the visual studio you have to go to in this particular directories and then there you will find the exe files ms build ms test 
so to build the project what you have to do is uh, go to the project directory and just go up uh, one directory and there you will find the solution file then open the command prompt over there by pressing shift key and to build this project what you have to do is ms build and project solution file so what happens is that after we build this but anyways I'll just try to delete this yeah so selenium project.dll file is deleted now after building project what happens is that uh, that uh, particular DLL file will be created in this bin debug so I'm gonna execute that and you will also notice that all these files are automatically changed as you can see this particular file is been created selenium project.dll so that is how you can build the project and so anyways that is how you can build the project and after building the project what you can do is uh, you can do the uh, like execute the test using ms test so for that you have to go to this debug directory and over there you will find the dll file created for the project then open the command prompt over there and then you can execute this command called as ms test and here you have to give the test container which is nothing but name of the DLL file .dll. then what will happen is it will start executing all the tests from that particular DLL file As you can see this as you can see the it is started executing the test so I'm gonna just stop it now so just remember that this command can be used to execute the test from the DLL file or your test project and another thing that I want to do, uh, tell you is that you can also execute the tests from specific category using this particular syntax you can give the category and then category name you can also give multiple groups like this like if you want to execute test from uh, two groups group one group two you can give it like that if you want to execute test from the group one or group two then you can use this particular syntax if you want to execute the test from group one but not from group two then you can use this particular syntax and you can also execute tests from specific test class all you have to do is just give this particular option and then you have to give a fully qualified name of the class like starting from the namespace for example you can notice that this class has got the name space like this selenium project launch browsers dot context dot test context so like that you have to give the fully qualified name like the namespace also has to be mentioned so that's uh, how you can work with this ms build and ms test tools so that ends our lecture number 18 that is any testing framework in csharp.net in this lecture we have seen how to do the assertions how to ignore the tests, how to group the tests using category, how to add the before and after hooks and how to build and test, execute the test using MS build MS test tools. Thanks for wat watching this video.